We have a problem in Montgomery County. 10 million. You know something? You're not very funny, because what I'm talking about is very serious. <laughs> we've spent, we've, we're looking at 10, over $10 million in lawsuits in the Montgomery County Jail. We have a sheriff who thinks he's gonna be a state representative, who shouldn't be the head of the Republican Party because he's the sheriff. We have not done our best to, to stop that, because that is a conflict of interest. But the problem we're having right now, which has been going on reported, is it's not just that we're torturing prisoners in, in the jail, we're having them die. Two have died by suicide in the last 14 days. A third might have, I'm still waiting for confirmation. Going to jail, you are innocent until proven guilty and it is not supposed to be a death sentence. It has been proven that the medical care is inadequate. It has been proven that they are understaffed and undertrained. We hold all three seats on the county commission. We own the majority of inmates are from the city of Dayton. We have all five seats of the Dayton City Commission. Why are we still allowing our citizens to be put in a facility where it is a death sentence, where it is, people are being tortured, where they're be putting, being put in restraint chairs and pepper sprayed while restrained. Where is the outrage? We can talk about Trump all we want, but we got a problem right here. And I've got to wonder that if we as Democrats can't stand up for those that are less fortunate, who are getting put in jail for minor things, and end up dying, maimed, tortured, or injured, what are we doing? So I'm, I'm asking this party, who holds the power, to ask that the jail be shut down or taken over by competent people and have Phil Plummer, instead of running the jail, in jail. Thank you. Rich Cordray is a lifetime member of the NAACP and has always supported the cause. Is that correct, Eric? Right. Any, any other business? Is there a motion to adjourn? I move for adjournment. Second. All in favor, we're saying aye.